Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, okay. I know they're loud. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, what is your favorite part of being fathers? Spinning in my chair. <laughs> Acting like children. I agree, I agree. Jensen, ha ha. <laughs> Does anybody out there have twins? Or. Where are my twins out there? Where are my. Where are my twin Twins. 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 Twin twins. Twins. Yeah. Awesome. Your parents I'm are about saints. to feel your parents' pain. just finished filming our 251st episode. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Sci-fi it's history, the longest right? running sci right. something sci-fi series. Sci -fi yeah. series. Yes. Uh, and I laugh. Um, I mean, uh, not that I'm ancient now by any means. When I started the show, I was 22 years old. I was a single guy, kind of doing my thing. Right. Now I'm 12 years older, father of two, about to be father of three in March. Oh my wow. God. That's a big announcement. That is a big announcement right there. So that's, that's incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So I, um, I, I, uh, I've been getting a lot of love from you guys, uh, and I appreciate it. Um, long story short, I just didn't want him to outdo me on number of children. So I didn't want to hear about it, hear about it. So 
we decided to play catch up. We heard they were having twins. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I believe the response he gave me when I said uh, when I said that we were having twins was damn. <laughs> Get a phone call from Jim. Oh, uh, so they're gonna have three William two. <laughs> Just kidding. We say this as our wives are both like tired, not able to get out of bed, <laughs> angry. <laughs> like, oh, we gotta go to work. See you later. Uh, but as funny as my wife, she she doesn't from behind. She doesn't look right until she turns to the side, and it's like whoa. <laughs> Knocking stuff off table. Or, or if you just, and I did this to her last time, I probably shouldn't have done this, but, but I was like, no, you don't, from behind, the only thing you notice is just, you know, it's simply the way you walk, which is... <laughs> oh. Oh. But she looks great doing it. Amazing. And I have, I have a very, and I don't make it any easier, I have a very funny relationship with Daniil, where whenever I see her, I'll purposely be like, ugh. Uh, sorry, she just gives me a look like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Man, you're huge, the old man. <laughs> yeah, she, she punches me. <laughs> Everybody else would be like, oh my gosh, you're so mean to me. She's like, shut up, Jared. <laughs> Throwing stuff at me. face. Uh, anybody have anything they want to say to Jensen? Let me, let me translate that. Um, <laughs> Thank you all very much, yes. Uh, the Supernatural family just keeps growing and growing. It really does. It's now too deeper. That's right. <laughs> um, everybody's healthy, everybody's happy, it's all good. I'm uh, uh, very happy to report. So. So my wife, who's in Austin um, right now with, uh, with uh, Jensen's wife and his brand new twins, sent me a text saying like, oh my god, I just held the twins, I want another, and I'm like, you're already pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen's parents who are here are going to have another grandbaby. I don't know where they snuck off to, but... Y'all be very nice to me because my in-laws are here, so <laughs> um, Yeah, all right. Love you guys. Uh, I think some people have been waiting a long time, so. Do we, were you asking how we came up with our names? Yeah, like, what, did you have any, like, strong winners outside of what you chose or what you're thinking? Uh, we actually didn't have a name for our son for, uh, until until basically last night. Until he existed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, he was uh, two days old. So we uh, yeah, both my kids. Yeah. Um, and the and Zeppelin, what we chose, wasn't even in the running. Like that, that literally came out of left field, and it, it actually a lot of people probably associated with the band, which is great. Uh, but um, actually, the way we came, or the way I found that name was uh, his uh, his cord was actually tied in a knot. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't cinched and it wasn't so he was everything was fine it was loose enough to where it, it, it still did its job but it was it was tied in a knot and there is a knot known as the zeppelin bend which is what they use to tether the zeppelin blimps uh, and it's two it, it tethers two ends together it's a very strong knot uh, and so we named it zeppelin you're not serious So um, I would say unless you have something that you really love, unless you have something that maybe means something, it's family, it speaks to you, uh, maybe try to find something that you know is relatable or, or is has something has some kind of cool meaning, or just throw a dart at a dartboard with names on it. <laughs> uh, so you told us how you named Zeppelin, but like, how did you name Arrow? Like, does it have anything to do with? And Steven? have you talked to Stephen since? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Steven. I, I mean, it just, it, it, it felt like such a feminine, very soft, nurturing kind of thing. Um, <laughs> no, uh, 
I just I, I I like that name and she liked that name kind of from the get go and that was uh, uh, that was in the running and then we we kind of waited to pull the trigger on both of them until we saw them. Uh, we had some others for Zeppelin, but that Zeppelin came out of left field because that was the whole coordinate. But uh, Arrow, we we knew we we was a was a front runner. And I think we just uh, we wanted an A, just kind of like an AA. Uh, so that kind of started it. I, I don't know. Arrow is just kind of out of left field too. Um, I liked it a little different. I think when you have parents named Jensen and Daniel, you can't, you gotta, you gotta kind of keep the trend <laughs> of odd names. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. What's that? Uh, the Bowie. Yeah, exactly. He was, uh, yeah, he was one minute in front of his sister. Oh, wow. So he's not the baby boy. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, first, I just wanted to say, uh, considering what you named your firstborn, I was a little disappointed you didn't name the twins Law and Order. <laughs> because his firstborn is Justice J, right? And I was like, I think a cool name for the twins is Kindness Kim and Liberty Larry. <laughs> So it'd be like JJ, KK, and LL. JJ, KK, LL. Come here. All with like virtues. Not, not a joke. Not a joke. We literally talked about Law and Order. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chuck Norris already has those names for his arms. For his so legs. Uh, for his left and right thigh. Oh. How's it going, Nashville? So I'm going to be brutally honest, because it's early. Uh -oh. um, I have been in a really weird headspace. Um, and I think it's the headspace that comes when um, the next time I'm going to see you guys, I'm going to have a daughter. <laughs> No yeah, no woo. No yeah, no woo. Messed up. Uh, <laughs> Jared, I have some advice for you. It gets worse. <laughs> Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so it's been a couple months. Um, any first timers? <laughs> welcome to the family. Apologies in advance. Did you just say someone said something? Congrats. Congrats to me? Oh, yeah, I got it. I think you said you're brats. Brats, that's right, I have three now. I think, I think you've been condemned six. Yes. I am now daddy to Three is the magic number, apparently. I guess so. Uh, well, I had a beat. And Even when that's not the plan. Then he, then he caught up and beat me in the same moment, and so I had to catch back up. Uh, but yes, I, I, I now am daddy to a daughter, so. <laughs> Fair enough. And then iPhone goes and does its thing. I have the same problem with your eyes and mine. Thank you. Hi, so I just want to say congratulations to you and Jen for having a daughter. Um, I was wondering, how do you think Sam would handle having a baby girl? Oh, come on now. Uh, that would be a funny thing to see one of the Winchesters have a kid, huh? Um, I think Sam would be a lot like Jared. I think he would be mortified, you know? Um, 
It's uh, you don't have kids. You're very young. You're. Um, it's 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 a very cool, very vulnerability-inducing sort of situation. Um, best thing I've ever done. Hardest thing I've ever done. It's it's hard to leave. You know, you wake up like I had a nightmare last night, this morning at, at one a.m. This time, um, involving my kids, and it wakes you up, and you're like, I'm not gonna go back to bed. There's no way. Uh, it's super cool. Um, that sounds weird, but um, I think Sam would be uh, out of sorts. I think it's probably the first situation Sam would be in where he was like, I don't know what to do, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's hope we don't see that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Love your show. Hi there. Oh, hi. Uh, well, my question is for Jensen. I'll tell you what. I'll just relax. So, um, I'm a twin, and my mom always says that we were a complete pain in the ass to raise. So, Jensen, what's the most difficult or best thing about raising twins? Are you identical? Or no, um, I'm a twin brother. Twin brother. Um, what is the most difficult thing at this point? <laughs> at this point, the most difficult thing about the, raising the twins is our four-year-old. Uh, that's really the X factor. Um, the twins are still, you know, they're not moving yet, so they're still containable. They're moving! They're just not... <laughs> yeah. They're in full body casts. The best way. Um, they haven't started crawling yet, so uh, it's it's pretty. It's just you know when you change one. When, you can see the screen. Of course, I can. Rodeo. You're moving more now than they ever did. Um, yeah, so far it's actually been, uh, uh, it's been bearable, you know, they're on the same schedule, so that's huge. Um, I think as soon as that starts to waver, the things are going to start to to really unravel. So hopefully that doesn't last, or that doesn't happen in a long time. Um, but it is uh, it's pretty crazy that they're, they're now starting to get their own personalities. Um, he's just like a ham, and she's very weary of everything, uh, which is great because he's basically a mini me, and she's a mini her. Um, so yeah, I uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It occurred to me, and maybe it's occurred to you before too, but it's funny to me to think about someday our kids could find video of this. And someday they're going to be like, what's it going to change? be like, what do you mean I'm the difficult one? <laughs> someday they're going to be like, we didn't move for some months. <laughs> They're gonna be in the YouTube rabbit hole and JJ's gonna be like, oh, he was calling me difficult of her to do this. <laughs>